Hey folks, Nintno here. Today we're going to go over 10 tips to master food and water in Daisy. Don't wait for yellow. Eat and drink whenever you have food. There is no need to wait for your status to be in the yellow to eat or drink. When your character is in the yellow or red, you are more susceptible to illness and disease. I often eat everything I find right away. Then, if I'm in a good place, leave a can of food or two and a water bottle in my inventory. Fill containers for faster drinking. Filling a container at a water pump will be faster than drinking by hand. Use a water bottle, canteen, or cooking pot to fill up and drink from. While you can also fill up a gas canister to drink from, it's a little bit of a hassle to travel with since it's so large, heavy, and takes up a lot of inventory space. Bake meat for the best nutrition. To get the most nutrition out of your meat and veggies, you should bake them over a fire. For easy access, you can even use a fireplace and a house. Make a fire and place the food on the rack. Watch the food and make sure it doesn't burn. Now you have yourself a tasty and nutritious meal. For some more game knowledge, in general, boiling is best for preserving hydration. Smoking is best for extending the duration before food will go rotten. And baking is the best for keeping your hunger levels up. The cooking pot is epic. The cooking pot is another best in slot item. You can place both food and clean water inside it at the same time. Drink from the pot when you need to hydrate and take food out when you need to eat. You can also, of course, use the pot to boil a whole bunch of food at the same time. Cooking stands for secluded cooking. This is a great craft to know and can be assembled with short sticks and long sticks easily found in bushes. This is a great way to utilize a cooking pot by placing it over a fire by attaching it to a cooking stand. The cooking stand is easy to craft so after you're done, you can leave the cooking stand behind and easily make a new one later on. Be careful when eating cat food, dog food, and unknown cans of food. Eating them too quickly will make you sick and vomit, which will make you even more hungry. To safely eat them, eat them slowly with just a couple of bites of food at a time. I usually save these cans for a backup meal if I'm desperate or if I'm on a long voyage to another town I'll take a couple bites at a time while I travel. Avoid eating or drinking with bloody hands. Doing so will put you at risk for salmonellosis, otherwise known as food poisoning. You can easily wash your hands at water pumps, bodies of water, and with containers of water. You can also avoid getting bloody hands by simply wearing gloves. You can easily craft improvised gloves with two rags. Chlorine tabs to clean water. Use chlorine tabs to clean dirty water. This is great for when you are in a pinch and desperate for water. Go ahead and fill up any container with pond water, add a chlorine tab, and you're safe to start drinking. This is also helpful when you find a water bottle in a house and need to drink from it as soon as possible. Just add that chlorine tab and you're good to go. Don't eat mysterious fat. Don't eat mysterious fat that you find or a stranger tries to hand to you. The icon for animal fat and human fat are the same, so it's easy to mistakenly eat human fat and get sick with Kuru, an incurable cannibalistic disease that will make you laugh and shake uncontrollably. The best advice is to only eat fat you know came from an animal you killed or a trusted friend is offering you. Multivitamins are an extremely helpful item to have and can get you out of some tricky food situations. Popping a multivitamin will allow you to drink contaminated water without getting sick during the duration of the pill effect. I personally only take this chance when I'm desperate and need to drink and it is my last resort. This video on the left will make you a food finding master. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day.